Good morning, dears. Today we are going to deal with the pancreatic neck tumors. That means the tumors which belongs mainly with the pancreas. As you know, the neuroendocrine tumors can be anywhere in our body, but the same may be seen, especially in our GIT or in our pancreas or uh, appendix or uh, elsewhere in our GIT and at the same time the same can be seen in the pulmonary system or the lungs. So today we are going to deal with the net tumors particularly in the pancreas. These are known as pancreatic net tumors or islet cell tumor. The key point of islet cell tumors are this may or may not cause any signs and symptoms. There may be some symptoms or there may not be. And there are different kinds of functional tumors. As you know, the tumors may develop or arise or origin from alpha cells or beta cells or delta cells or F cells or P cells or G cells or a vasoactive intestinal peptide cells. So there are different types of cells can be seen in islet cell tumors. That is why the different tumors give different types of signs and symptoms. When and at the same time the tumors may be excuse me the tumors may be either benign or malignant ones and the net tumors are much less common than pancreatic exocrine tumors and have a better prognosis. So usually the tumors of the pancreas belongs to exocrine. Uh, that means near about 90% uh, of pancreatic islet cell tumors belongs to exocrine and only 10% of tumors belongs to the endocrinal or functional tumors and the same having better prognosis than that of the exocrine tumors and due to the tumors the functional tumors secretes high amount of or unwanted amount of or uncontrolled amount of hormones depending on the cellular origin. So the G cells may secrete high amount of gastrin and beta cells may secrete high amount of insulin. Alpha cells may secrete high amount of uh, glucagon delta, delta cells may secrete high amount of somatostatin etc. and most of the Most of the functional tumors are benign and at the same time most of the non-functional tumors are malignant also. And let us see the signs and symptoms of functional pancreatic tumors. And once again I am saying the signs and symptoms depends on the type of hormone being made. That means which cell is or which group of cells are affected and depending on that the abnormality of the hormone will take place in our body and on that basis the signs and symptoms may seem. 
that is why the signs and symptoms are varying from person to person even though the person may be diagnosed as having functional tumors and first of all let us see about uh, what happened if g cell secretes high amount of g cells secretes high amount of gastrin if g cell secretes high amount of gastrin and the g cells tumors are known as gastrinoma let us see if a, if our patient is having a tumor belongs to gastrinoma what may be the symptom and how can we evaluate the signs and uh, all those things can be studied in the next class thank you